Yo, in this tutorial I'm going to teach you how to make this wipe transition inside of After Effects. So without further ado, let's just get straight into it. So we're in After Effects and the first thing you're going to want to do is get your clip and find the part where you want the transition to be and cut the clip right there. And let's add the first effect called Distort Chroma, which is a Sapphire plugin. So you're going to want to need Sapphire for this. Yo, sorry to interrupt, I just wanted to let y'all know that I just dropped my Essential Transitions pack which includes over 20 of my personal presets that I use in almost every single one of my music videos. It honestly helps if you get stuck when you're editing because there's 20 plus drag and drop presets that you can use whenever you want to. So if you're interested, go check that out, lurkingvisuals.store. But back to the video. So you're gonna wanna need Sapphire for this effect. And let's change the blur lens to 300 and keyframe the amount from the end of the transition from one to the beginning at zero and then we're gonna add displacer pro uh, which is also a plugin but it's free so you can go and get it i'll have it linked in the description and let's keyframe this from the beginning at zero to 69 and change the edge behavior to mirror repeat. The next effect you're going to want to add is a brightness and contrast. And these settings kind of depend on your clip, but let's keyframe this from the beginning to the end. And I'll put the brightness at something around 30 and bump the contrast up to the max. And then I'm going to add chromatic aberration. And I'm going to use the universe one, but there's some stock plugins you can use if you want to. Kind of depends on if you have the plugins or not. Let's keyframe this from the beginning at one and then the ending around 2.5. And let's do the same with these two. And in the beginning, let's keep them at one, no zero. And the next effect you're going to want to add is a sapphire shake. And I'm going to keep him this from the beginning at zero to the ending where I put it on two and then change the frequency to 12 and have motion blur on. And the last effect that you're going to want to need to make this effect is a scale wipe. And this one I'm going to keep at 12 at the end and keep him it from zero in the beginning. Yeah, just like that and then you're gonna want to select all your keyframes for all of the effects and press f9 to ease them and then you're gonna want to make a graph let's go to the value graph and make a graph like this which means that it goes quicker no no slower in the beginning and then quicker towards the end and let's do this for all of the effects so after you're done with that you're gonna have an effect that looks something like this and i mean that's cool but you can see right here at the bottom it kind of goes up so to prevent this i'm gonna add a scale keyframe and go to the end and press Y on my keyboard and move the anchor point up right here. And then let's up the scale to something like 140. And then also easy these keys these keyframes and make a graph something like this. No, slower. Yeah, like that. And then you're gonna wanna add the exact same effects but reverse them and instead of doing that i'm gonna go to my clip before select all the effects copy them and paste them and then select all the keyframes uh, line them up correctly yeah like that yeah that's good and then select all of them and press keyframe assistant and time reverse keyframes. So after you've done that, you're gonna to wanna to change the scale Y direction to something around minus 132. 
and um, I'll move this up right here and then you're gonna want to change the scale again like we did last time so I'll select the anchor point put it right here and then scale it up like that and then I'm gonna add a keyframe again yeah like that so if you've done everything correctly you should have something like this if you enjoyed this tutorial make sure to like the video it definitely helps the channel and if you're new to the channel make sure to subscribe and follow my instagram for more short form tutorials and yeah i'll see you guys in the next one stay safe